this would be a good idea first. Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. I'm Sheldon Marion and today we're back into the kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be making up some uh, moose burgers here. So to start this off, we have about a pound of burger here. And we're just going to separate this into about four pieces. So we'll have nice small little quarter pound patties. Try to make them as even as possible, like this one here, it's a bit small, so I'll grab that one. I loop that. Now they're pretty well all the same size. And then from here what we're going to be doing is we're just going to take them straight over to the hot grill and we're just going to smash them on the grill. So here we have our grill, it's all preheated, there's no numbers on the old dinosaur so I'm not too sure exactly what temperature we're at probably 350 or so and because moose burger it's so dry there's no fat to it we're gonna add just a little bit of oil to the grill now we're gonna take our little patties and simply just put it on there and flatten it out with your spatula And it didn't make any sizzle, so I'm going to turn that up a little bit more. And when you're squishing these down, you want to try to make them even. Put our second one on here. Get a little sizzle out of it now. Now to this, we're just going to add simple salt and pepper. And I'll basically just let them cook for a couple minutes, three minutes on each side until they get nice and brown and get a little bit of a crust on them. Flip them over and then we'll uh, move on from there. Alrighty, so now we can see around the edges here, it's starting to brown up, coming up. And on top, you have that little bit of blood coming through. So we should have a half decent crust on the bottom. So we can give these a flip. Well, maybe we should have cooked it a little hotter. Turn this up a little bit more and 
Give her a flip. They'll still taste good, they just won't have that real nice hard crust on the top of them, but that's all right. Add a little salt and pepper. Plus, once we're done cooking these ones up, I got uh, two more I'm gonna be cooking up, just a slightly different way. And now that they're flipped too, what we can do, we can grab our cheese. Today we're gonna be using Monterey Jack. A little bit of jalapenos in there, whatever it is that's in there. Let that get melted. What we might do here too, push these off to the side. And we'll get a bun going here. Just a little touch of oil. Grab our bun. There we go, we'll get that crispy up. Alrighty, let's check on these buns here. Getting a nice crust on them. That's about perfect. Take them over here. And this one here is for Shelby, so you know it's gonna be pretty basic. So here we got some spicy mayo, it's just mayonnaise with some sriracha. Put that on there. Grab the flipper. Put your burger on. I'm gonna grab that other one too. Just put this off to the side. Then she wants a little bit of lettuce, slice of tomato. You want mayo on top and bottom? She's picky too. Alrighty, get on the top here too. Keep them women happy. And there you have it. Pretty simple, basic moose burger that'll be absolutely delicious now for the second one what we're gonna be doing is we're uh, pretty well doing the same thing but we're gonna put cheese directly onto the grill so let's get this started so roughly quarter pound of mousse get that stuff out of the way put her on smash her down There we go, now we're going to need some salt. And some pepper. And this is a new way of me doing this, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. But we're basically just going to take a handful of cheese. Put it right on that grill. Now, as this cooks, once this is done cooking, instead of flipping it, we're going to take that, put it on your cheese, grab the cheese, and then flip that all the way over. And then we'll toast our buns. All right, so I went around and I loosened up all the sides on this cheese here. So now you can kind of move around freely somewhat. So I think what we're going to be doing, because now the sides are starting to get cooked up on this burger, you got a little bit of blood on top. We take this, and we put it on top of the cheese. Let's see what happens here. Haha, <laughs> I think that worked out pretty good. Now we're just going to move this over. Get a bun on here, start toasting up that bun. 
There we go. Bun is on. I like to put it down and give that little bit of a swirl just so that way it kind of mops up some of this uh, grease and oil and stuff and it just helps toast it. Alrighty, so we flipped this here a couple minutes ago. Put our buns on. Look at that. As good as McDonald's. So again here, we're just going to be putting a little bit of spicy mayo on both sides. And the spicy mayo, it's kind of a two-thirds mayo, one-third sriracha. Put that on there. Now we'll grab our burger. that on then again we're gonna have a little lettuce slice of tomato and there you go Bob's your uncle now what we're gonna be doing here is I'm gonna slice these in half then I'm gonna get Shelby to come over so you can take a bite of this one here just the original kind of whatever burger and then She's gonna take a bite of this one because it's a new creation. So we'll see which one she likes better. Oh, I gotta say, that does look pretty good. One's that one. This one here's the original. We're gonna give this a shot first. <laughs> Just I a burger? Wow, oh, that mousse is awesome. It's not gamey at all. That's really good. Let's try the crispy cheese here. <laughs> so is it like life-changing good or just kind of half-assed? It's not bad. That crunch is wicked. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. I guess uh, there's a new one for you guys to try out. Put some cheese directly onto the grill, and then uh, before you flip your burger, take your burger put it on top of that cheese and then flip it at least do it for your woman anyways <laughs> hope you liked the video if you did make sure you click the little like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you on the next one